Shalom lekulam. Hi everybody. We are here from our house in Tennessee. This time it's not from Israel. Yes, temporary. Temporary. Um, uh, we'll be going back January 9th and it's amazing how our hearts are always, our compass of our hearts are always turned towards the east. Right. Because that's truly where our, our home is. It's, it's in the Galilee. It's in Israel. And so mm -hmm. our hearts are longing. But we want to share something really personal with you guys. And it is personal. But, you know, me, I'm always sharing something personal. <laughs> but I just, I just felt like we needed to get, to get it out now about the abundance here. Right. And it was kind of a culture shock to see culture all the shock. abundance here and the variety that you have here. Yeah. It is like, wow, you just get lost in the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> and it's something that happened to us in the supermarket. Um, we were we were really looking for a vast shortage of everything. I mean, that's what we would be hearing. Yeah. So I finally, you know me, I'm always asking questions. I finally asked this um, young guy that works at a grocery store and I said, okay, where, where is the lack? And he said, well, sometimes we don't get this, this brand of yogurt in. And I'm just going like, really? That's, that's the abundance of a lack. And I know it's out there for other people that are in business. I understand that. Right. But for Nome and I, uh, Israel is the land of abundance, but America is the land of I don't even know what to say, overabundance yeah. or something like that. And I think because so many people that you live here, you 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 get used to it. Exactly. Well, it has been such a culture shock to Noma and I to come back and see just the, like I said, the abundance and the beauty and right. and just um, just massive stuff. Right, and also our home is kind of in the end of the street, it's yeah. very quiet. So another thing is about the atmosphere, that yeah. is so laid back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and you see it also on the streets, I mm -hmm. mean, people just walk, how they drive. Mm -hmm. It's really laid back, mm -hmm. and I told my beloved, wow, we can just relax. But I think that's Tennessee, people. That's Tennessee. So some of you are <laughs> thinking about moving. I think it could be Tennessee <laughs> because it's really laid back. <laughs> Very good, honey. Isn't that cool. good? She's okay. good with accents. Yes. So that's the general atmosphere. And mm -hmm. among all that, still we are getting into the word. Yeah. And there was these scriptures in Deuteronomy 6, uh, verse 12, mm -hmm. that it's after the Moses describing how the Israelites conquered the land of Israel. Mm -hmm. And then it says, beware that you will not forget yes. the Lord your God who took you out of Egypt. Yeah, and basically took you into abundance. Yeah. And that's where Noam and I are here to say mm -hmm. to all of you that call in the name of the Lord, I'll tell you, you're so blessed. All you have to do is go to Cuba. All you have to go do is go to right. Venezuela. And when we were in Cuba, there was no vegetables. There was no fruit. Um, there was one piece of meat. I don't even know what it was. Just sitting there in a freezer. Mm -hmm. And I think about all our brothers and sisters that have not forgotten the abundance that the Lord has given them in the spirit. Right. In, in the spirit of righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Spirit. Right. So when we went to the underground mm -hmm. churches there... Mm -hmm. We told them, you may lack the, all the electrical yes. things that you have yes. in the churches in the United States that are so much more advanced, yeah. Yeah. but you are more advanced in the spirit. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And even in Cuba, when we were there, they painted uh, menorahs on their mud walls. And um, to remember, also to remember Jerusalem, yeah. to remember to pray for the peace of Israel and to pray for the, the lost sheep of Israel. Right. So we just want to say to you, uh, to, because then, Noam has Hebrew words on this that is so powerful. Right, but then the tornado also hits yeah. not far from here. Yeah. And then you see the devastation. Yeah. People lose everything. Could be wiped in out a in a second. Night. 
could be wiped out. Yeah. Everything could be wiped out in a second. And even Noam and I were here on alert. Mm -hmm. um, we were trying to figure out um, our three sisters that live in the house, that take care of the house. Um, they were going to go into the stairway, and Noam and I were going to go into this itsy bitsy pol pol polka dot bikini um, the rest bathroom. Room. Yeah, restroom. That's so funny. <laughs> bathroom. Uh, it's a guest bathroom, and we're trying to figure out. Okay, how do we? So how do we stand? What do we do? Yeah. And but we think about the people in a second. Mm -hmm. In a second, things can be gone. And but yet, when you have the Lord. When you have, and so many on TV were expressing their faithfulness, their love to the Lord. Yeah. Even we, even with everything wiped out, they still had eternal life in the Lord. And that reminds me of the story of Job. How everything, mm. Job lost everything. Yeah. I mean, even his family members, he lost everything except right. his wife. And what did he say? The Lord gave, yes. the Lord took away, blessed be yeah. the Lord. Yeah. He's showing such a walk of faith that is not attached to the physical world, to the things that we have, oh my to gosh. all the prosperity and the things of the land. And mm -hmm. so back to the scripture. I, I can say this. Yeah. I have repented so many times here that it's just like, um, I think the Lord is saying, okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> and you have a problem in this area because I love beautiful things. I've always loved beautiful things. I can make something that is not beautiful, uh, a home, a hut. I can do it. That's my gift. Right. I mean, that's my gift. But when I walk into a store with my friends, I, I just, I kind of stand there and they go, what's wrong? And I go, oh, I'm, I'm repenting because it's such a... Um, uh, Overwhelming. Yeah, feeling. And I'm looking and I'm saying, do you realize how, what you have here, what you have in America still, yes, we know it's going to get rough, and we know it's going to get rougher, and we know it's going to get rougher, rougher, rougher. <laughs> but we have to remember, do not yeah. forget what he has given to us in the spirit and in eternal life. Right. So it's a scripture in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 12. It's after yeah. Moses is describing yeah. how the Israelites conquered the land of Israel, or most of it. Yeah. And then he's telling them, beware that you will not forget yes. the Lord your God who took you out of Egypt. Wow. Because what happens after they conquer the land, now they can indulge in the prosperity yeah. of the land, in all yeah. the goodness of the land. And what happens when you do that is that you turn out in sin. And mm -hmm. you can see all that in the Hebrew word mm -hmm. of the word, to forget, shachach, if I go to the right to it, yeah. So in the word, you can see two letters that koach means strength, and I'm thinking, why do you have strength yeah. in the word to forget? Mm -hmm. And that is because you see, it just with the Israelite, um, conquering Israel was an act of strength, mm -hmm. and so nobody bothered them. They had peace for some times, and yeah. so they could indulge. Yeah. in the goodness of the of the country yeah so strengths lead to peace lead to indulgence mm -hmm. and the last letter of the word shachach is chet which means sin so it means that this is how it goes you have strengths and that cause you to indulge in the prosperity and the yeah. peace and in the end it leads you to yeah. sin yeah because i'm saying constantly to my friends I have to remember, I have to remember, seek first the kingdom of God and yes, all these things yes. will be added unto you. And, and it's like, I have to really say, Lord, keep my eyes focused on you. And yes, he wants us to enjoy the beauty. I mean, there's no doubt about it. The Garden of Eden must have been so, un, uh, I mean, unbelievably amazing and the beauty mm -hmm. of the flowers and the trees and everything like that which brings out beauty but i also know like noam said that if we forget if we forget mm -hmm. and our focus is not on him but on the abundance that we see that letter hat and forgetfulness and forget is it can lead into sin mm -hmm. where we are coveting somebody else's somebody else's abundance and you know we have to remind one another no right. and so the issue of to remember and then you see all the feasts mm -hmm. as it described as moses yeah. describes the feast 
it always says, do this in remembrance of me. So all the feasts have one core thing yeah. in common, and that is we do all these things yeah. to remember the Lord our God. Right. And you need to do things physically. Yeah. Why? Because seeing mm -hmm. helps you to remember. Yeah. It's like my beloved forgets to take the vitamin. So I say, okay, I'll put it on the table so she will see the vitamin and then she'll remember to take it. Yeah. Yeah, well, hello. <laughs> but more seriously, mm -hmm. in the book of Exodus, chapter 32, verse 1, mm -hmm. what happens is Moses was still up in the mountains and the people of Israel, the yeah. Israelites, came to Aaron and said, look, we don't yeah. know what happened to Moses. Yeah. We don't see him. And so make us a God. Yeah. They already yeah. forgot everything yeah. that had happened to them before. Right. All the miracles that the Lord had mm -hmm. did in Egypt. Mm -hmm. And now Moses was kind of a mediator between right. the Lord and the people. And when he was gone, their faith was gone. Right. It's like, okay, now we need a, yeah. a physical something God. Something to see something. and something tangible. Exactly. So mm -hmm. seeing helps you to mm -hmm. remember. Mm -hmm. But then we know that we need to live by faith, not yeah. by sight. Yeah. And there's another thing. When um, the Passover meal that Yeshua shared with his disciples in mm -hmm. Jerusalem, he said, do this in remembrance of me. And when we take that covenant meal every Friday night of the bread and the wine, it reminds us, it keeps us on track. It keeps us on track that, Lord, it, we are here for your purposes. Mm -hmm. We are here for your will and not our will. Right. It's, Shabbat is such a wonderful reminder. And somebody asked me the other day, well, what do you do on Shabbat? I mean, they think sometimes you just sit. Are you kidding me? We have so much fun. We have so much. We delight in the Lord. We remember his goodness to us, that he's brought us to the land of the living, right, you know? Right. And that that it, it just keeps you remembering, remembering him right. keeps you on track. Right. And Shabbat was made for men, not mm -hmm. men for the Shabbat. Yeah. It's not that we need to perfect the Sabbath like the religious Jews do. Yeah. No. Shabbat is for us to recharge ourselves, to rest to reconnect with the Lord. Yes. And really, it's it's for us. We yes. really have to remember that. Yes. And it's for it's for us to remember the one who gave us life. And um, because he's Lord of the Sabbath rest. I mean, and it is Friday night beginning Saturday night. And again, I just want to emphasize this. And people say they think I don't know what they think. They think we just sit there. Like we just sit there and don't do anything. It's so wonderful in Israel. In Israel, mm -hmm. you feel the Sabbath. You feel it. You feel the atmosphere, and you laugh with friends, and you open up the Word, or you you sit and have and stare at your husband and say, "I'm so thankful for this man." It's just oh, you go out and you meet other people, and yeah. then you share about the goodness of the Lord. Right, and if we talk about the Sabbath. Mm. It hit me that the Lord our God had glorified and sanctified mm -hmm. the day that he did nothing. And this is after he created the world, which is a yeah. wonderful, unbelievable thing that yeah. is beyond our concept. And yet, it's a day that he rested, yeah. that he glorified. So he's already showing us right. to be detached right. from our actions. Right. If he could be detached from yes. his action of creation, the world... right. We need to do the same. And also the word remembrance, no yeah. one. Um, King David always said it. And of course, Yeshua said it. Um, remember, 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 remember. And it's like the Lord is, is saying again in, in Hebrew, yeah. the word remembrance. Right. And so the letter, the word remember is for the root of it is the chal, mm -hmm. which also means actually male. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, okay, why is memory is also the word for a male? Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons I see it, that the man remembers more than a woman, mm -hmm. generally speaking, mm -hmm. not all. But that is because spiritually we yeah. are slower than the woman. So, see? see we do the... things slower so our mm -hmm. memory is better. Yeah. The woman is like all over the place yeah. and fast. We got fire. We got <laughs> yeah. fire. Yeah, so that's one thing. And also because it symbolizes strengths. Mm -hmm. Remembering him mm -hmm. giving you strengths. Yeah. Yeah, it's so good because 
because how the Lord has created man and woman mm -hmm. is such complementing to each other. Yes. One has a weakness, but the other one has a strength, right. and it can help that one. And I know that Noam is always saying to me, Beloved, remember, we have never lacked. We have never lacked, even, even with nothing coming in for tourism. So there's no income coming in whatsoever. Noam always reminds me, he looks me in the face, and he says, Beloved, have we ever lacked? Right. And I, it, it jars me so much because it, it makes me realize, no, there are times that I feared for lack. There's times that I feared for lack. And then the Lord will bring something in right. from somebody or, or somebody says, oh, I want to give you a gift. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Yes, and this is how you encourage yourself in the Lord, like yeah. King David did. Yeah. When he was facing Goliath, yeah. he looked back and said, Okay, the Lord helped yeah. me with the bear and the lion. Yeah. So I can handle Goliath. It's so good. No, so no. the same for us. Look back, see how the Lord had worked in yes. your life. He didn't forget you. Yes. So be encouraged in the Lord. And we speak blessing yes, and yes, love yes, to yes. all those who are following us. Yes, and, and can I just share something? Yes, my dear. We have a really precious couple um, that are treating Noam and I. Um, makes me cry, just makes me cry. I know that some of you are going to go, what? Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're treating us to two nights in Dollywood. <laughs> in Dollywood called Pigeon Ford. It's it's just going to be like, it's going to be, so we're going to take lots and lots of pictures <laughs> for all our Israeli friends because all our Israeli friends say, take pictures, take pictures, yes. take pictures. So to all our Israeli friends, we are going to take pictures yes. of everything, of everything. <laughs> okay. And we just bless that couple who has blessed us yes, so much them. to have this gift yes. while we're here. Yeah, thank you, Lord. So, blessing from Tennessee. Yeah. And keep following us. Blessing from Tennessee, Tennessee via, via. Is Israel. Yeah. Via Israel. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.